This is the Beacon so Theatre. There's Brian Cox. Brian has a new toy. Brian, do you want to show me your new toy? Let's yeah. See this. Uh... Yeah, we can, uh, we can. I don't think it's going to underrun tonight. He's got a toy. So there's right. a clock far away from the star, and here's a clock close to the star, and they're ticking away. Let's say the rate that that ticks is delta t squared, and the rate that that is delta t squared. I can do it really fast, and that's one minus r is over r. That's the Schwarzschild radius there, which would be three kilometres for the sun. There we are. Excellent. Not going to overrun. Yeah, he's not going to just do one equation tonight. The equation rule is definitely going to be broken. That's the beacon theatre, by the I'm way. Doing. Oh, go on. The other one I'm doing is this. So we're going to take a it's coin, coming. state psi. We're going to do it in Dirac notation. And then we can have a, an entangled state, so that we've got heads, tails, plus tails heads so there we go come for the cosmology stay for the Dirac equation it's not the Dirac equation it's Dirac notation oh is it a Dirac notation it's just a notation it's not an equation still in New York and uh, tonight we're playing the Beacon Theatre uh, some tickets still available uh, and yeah yesterday we drove around Grand Central Station. So that reminded me of a book that I recommend to everyone. Some people have not enjoyed it, but they are wrong. Uh, it's Elizabeth Smart's by Grand Central Station, I Sat Down and Wept, which is such a poetical work of shattered romance and longing. So that came to mind. Today's artist manifesto is uh, from Suleiman Essa and Retta Payadasa, uh, who are Malaysian artists in the 1960s. Actually, 1974, they did a, an exhibition called Towards a Mystical Reality, uh, which was kind of uh, a, a battle uh, against what they felt was wrong with Malaysian art. It is our contention that there are alternative ways of approaching reality, and the Western empirical and humanistic viewpoints are not the only valid ones there are. As such, the tendency amongst modern Malaysian artists to have succumbed to a Western orientated viewpoint of reality, which began in the European Renaissance, really Greece, seems indicative of an easy capitulation to a scientific viewpoint of reality. There have, in fact, been very few attempts made by Asians, except perhaps perhaps for some Japanese artists to substitute an alternative approach in the appreciation of reality. That is just a very small part of quite a long manifesto. Anyway, so that's today's uh, manifesto uh, towards a mystical reality. Um, books I bought in Mercer Street Bookshop. I really wanted to get a Will Eisner, but there was a great big book all about Will Eisner, but it was too big. It's too early on in the tour. It was it, it was wonderful anyway. Uh, so instead I got uh, Give Our Regards to the Atom Smashers, uh, Writers on Comics, which includes Jeff Dyer, who's one of my favourite writers, and this uh, comic book, which I didn't really even, I just thought I'd just get it, Jokes and the Unconscious, and it's not actually, as far as I can see, uh, just a specific adaptation of the work of Freud. There is much else going on in it. And uh, as you know, my New York book was uh, Widow Basquiat, which was fantastic, so that went very well with Just Kids. And uh, finally, uh, what more can I tell you? Oh yeah, my next book is for New Haven, and it is Limbo, by Bernard Wolfe.